All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine from SEB Housing. I'm just gonna turn my volume up a little bit and give it a minute. I know some people are still entering and connecting. All right. If at any point during this session, there's an issue with audio or anything like that, just let me know. Um, so tonight we're going to run the lottery for the two affordable townhomes located at 21 Crown and Shield Road in Brookline. And we're going to get the lottery underway in just a few moments. First, just want to mention that if you have any questions during the session, same as if there's an issue with audio or anything like that, go ahead and unmute yourself. When you came into this meeting, you were automatically muted just so we can minimize any outside noise. Um, or you can type questions into the chat box in Zoom. So, Either one of those is fine. You also should have received a message when you came into the meeting that the session is being recorded. It is gonna be posted to SEB Housing's YouTube channel after tonight. Just wanna give you some background before we do the lottery um, as to next steps and how the lottery is going to um, happen. So there's really no need to write any of this background or even um, step future steps information down because it is going to be provided to you in a follow-up email by tomorrow. So just a reminder, this is for the two affordable homes. They are three bedrooms with three and a half baths. Um, there were, there was a lot of interest as you might expect in the homes. Um, there were 74 completed applications. So there are going to be 74 people in the lottery. 22 households indicated that they had local preference meaning that those households either live uh, or work full-time in Brookline or have children uh, attending Brookline Public Schools. So all households in the lottery should already have received a lottery application number, which is in the form of A dot a series of numbers. So in this case, your number is between A dot 001 and A dot 074 because there's 74 applicants. So let me know if you don't have that number or if you forgot it, you don't have it on hand because I will not be calling out uh, anybody's name uh, just for privacy purposes during the lottery. So when I start the drawing, I'm going to be putting uh, these index cards that I have here into the lottery box that I have here. Um, I'm gonna show the number to you, to the camera, so you can see it. I'm gonna jot down a note for myself. Um, as a record of, of the order that they were drawn. And um, for time purposes, as there are quite a few numbers to be called, I am not going to be saying A dot and then the, the, the first zero. So if your number is 74, I'm gonna say 74. Uh, so just a heads up there. And so following the lottery, sometime tonight or tomorrow morning at the latest, everyone who is in the lottery is going to be sent an email that includes next steps in the process. So as well as a summary of some of uh, what went on tonight during the lottery itself. So it's important to remember that everyone um, who was entered into the lottery has not yet submitted the income, asset, or tax documentation. Uh, so each household was entered into this lottery based solely off of the information that was self-reported on your, on your lottery application. So if after the lottery, you're invited to move forward, you are going to be required at that point to supply all of the required documentation within about a week to 10 days. There was a document requirements guide that was sent to you back when you received your lottery number. And that document spells out in detail the supporting documents um, that we are gonna be requesting from top households on the waiting list following the lottery. So hopefully you've had a little bit of time to get to gather some of that information, tax returns, pay stubs, that sort of thing. Um, so really just wanna make sure that everyone understands the lottery itself is um, you know, just one important step in the process, but even if you are a top household on the waiting list, you're not guaranteed yet a chance to purchase one of these townhomes. We first need to verify the income and asset information that you've listed on your application and confirm that you are in fact eligible for that affordable housing program. All right, so like I mentioned, the lottery result, results from tonight are going to be sorted and the waiting lists are gonna be created following the lottery that we're holding tonight. So the sorted wait lists are gonna be attached to that email that you receive. 
And um, you're going to notice that the top four households on each waiting list, there's two waiting lists, one for local preference and one, one with local preference and one general. And the top four households on each, each of those waiting lists will be highlighted in green. And that's because the top four households on each list are going to be sent a separate notice from SDB Housing asking that they provide the necessary income tax and asset documentation that will now be required. So you might be thinking, well, there's only two townhomes, so why are a total of eight applicants being asked to submit documentation? And the reason we do that is because we want to make sure that the process isn't delayed by us only screening the top one household from each of those lists. Um, it is possible that the top households, the number one household on each of those lists will provide all of the necessary documentation, will be found eligible, and will ultimately purchase the um, unit. If that ends up being the case, um, there will have been several households who submitted all of your income and asset information, but were not given the opportunity to purchase a home. So just want to make sure that that's clear. Uh, before we start as well. So keep in mind, we're going to be inviting more than just the top two households on the list to move forward and supply verification. And really the reason we do this, like I mentioned, to not slow down the process, but there are often households who either don't provide all of the necessary documentation, they might not qualify, or sometimes, you know, people just change their mind and don't want to purchase the uh, home anymore. So if you are one of those top households that's um, highlighted in green on the waiting list, sorry, if you are not one of the top households that is highlighted in green on the waiting list, you will not be moving forward after tonight. Um, you will be contacted, however, at a later date if the households above you on, on the waiting list or ahead of you on the waiting list don't end up purchasing one of the homes. So um, keep that in mind. If, if you're not called, forward after tonight, it does not mean that um, you will definitely not be moving forward. It just might be uh, later on. All right, so I'm going to begin with the local preference drawing. I mentioned that there was 22 households who indicated that they had local preference in Brookline. So I have those 22 cards set aside in a separate pile because I need to do a um, local preference drawing to confirm the priority of those 22 households. There is a local preference waiting list and there's going to be a general waiting list. If you are a local preference household, you're gonna hear your name called twice, or your, not your name, your number, your um, lottery application number called twice. And the reason for that is because we need to um, figure out your preference on the, or sort your preference on the local um, waiting list and then uh, you will be called again in the general drawing because all 74 applicants have a spot in the local, local in the, um, the general drawing as well. So 22 cards are here. Does anybody have any questions before I start the drawings? It's gonna take a minute just because we have so many applicants for both of these. All right, oh, hold on, one question here. So the top four on the general waiting list are given priority over households five through 22 with local preference. So uh, there is no local preference on the general drawing. So the order in which the 74 numbers are drawn from this box in just a few minutes for the general drawing will be the waiting list for, um, for the general waiting list. The top four, the four that I mentioned are gonna be um, highlighted in green are the four on each list, so eight in total, that are gonna be asked to move forward to submit their income tax documentation and all of that. So I'm doing the local preference households now, and the first household who was called for local preference will be the number one um, number on the waiting list for the local preference unit. So if we're not called, this is another question, if we're not called tonight, how long will we be on the waiting list? So um, everyone's gonna be called. It's just a matter of where you're gonna be on the waiting list, right? So if you're called 25th in the general drawing and you know the number four person on the waiting list ends up purchasing the general, um, the unit that is for the local 
uh, for the um, general drawing, then you will not have a um, opportunity to purchase the unit. The waiting lists don't carry on when units turn over or anything like that for, for, um, for home ownership properties. How many of the 22 are minorities and will there be a third poll to, to uh, if they don't have enough minorities in the local? So good question. I didn't mention that here, but I do have it on the documentation that will be going out to you tomorrow. There were, we are not doing a third poll because they there were uh, more than 33.4% of the local um, the local priority households had indicated that they were part of a minority group. So let me just get that exact number for you. So you have it, you will see it on the um, documentation. So there are 22 households. There were 14 of those 22 households indicated that they were part of minority. So we're 63% there, we're over the 33% that's required for the Boston area, Boston, Brookline area. All right, so if there's any other questions, I'm going to put these 22 numbers, excuse me, in the lottery box that I have here. And like I said, I'm not going to say A.0. I'm just going to say the number. And after I um, pull all of the numbers here, I'm going to jot down a note for myself and I'll go on to the next one. So place them in the box here. And I will after this lottery drawing, after this local lottery drawing, I will be adding these numbers to the general drawing. So we'll have all 74 households in there at that point. All right, here's the first number for the local unit. A.71. I said I wasn't gonna say A dot, so I'll get out of that habit now. Seventeen. Eleven. Forty-six. I shuffled these all up before we started. 24. 14. Seventy, seven zero, twenty, two zero, fifty one, fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-nine. Twenty-one. 
25. 57. Last number in here, the local preference is 34. All right, so those were the 22 local preference households. And I'm now adding these to the general drawing. Um, local preference households do not have preference in the local, I'm sorry, in the general drawing. So again, the um, order in which these are pulled will be the order of priority for the, um, the general waiting list. There's the two waiting lists, there's the local, waiting list and the general list. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up a little bit and try to get them, give the box a shake as well. Okay. Box here. All right, so I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So you guys aren't sitting around forever, but shuffling them up again, pulling out, number for the general 14. Twenty. Thirty-four. Sixty-five. Thirty-one. Fifty-four. Twenty-one. Sixteen. Fifty-three. Forty-three. Thirty-two. Fifty-two. Forty four zero forty seven seventy four forty nine. Two zero zero two there. Seven. Ten. Forty five. Fifty 
57.
28. Fifty-six. Twenty-four. Twenty-two. Forty-four. You are seventy-one. And then the final number is 30. All right, so those were all 74 applicants. Um, application numbers were pulled in that because it was the general drawing. So no priorities. The number it was, the order it was drawn in is going to be the order that you see sent to you um, when the email goes out with the waiting list attached for the general drawing. Um, so I'll wait around for a moment. If there's any questions, there's going to be, like I said, you're going to see either tonight or tomorrow morning the email um, with a write up of kind of what you saw tonight, next step reiterating the, the households that are highlighted in green, what the next steps are gonna be for those households, and um, the waiting list will be attached. So does anybody have any questions on the process before we go? All right, well, keep an eye on your inbox. You'll have that by um, tomorrow morning at the latest. I'll try to get it out tonight. So you can have that and um, thanks for tuning in. We'll be in touch. Have a great night. Oh, someone just asked a SNAP considered income and uh, you would want to put it on your, your application, but uh, no, it won't, won't count as income towards your uh, the income limit. All right, have a good night, everyone. Take care.